Hey, it's Toonster. Deep, deep, deep Toonster. What's going on, guys? Well, I'll tell you what's going on some more. Let's play Super Mario RPG. Let's go into Rose Town. Whoa, that guy just took an arrow to the head. And she's just walking around like nothing even happened. This guy is... Is he frozen? I guess so. Sea arrows come flying out from the forest, and when you're hit, you can't move. See? Look. I can't move a muscle. Now I know how a scarecrow feels. That's like one of my worst fears, just being paralyzed, not being able to move a muscle. I don't know, that really freaks me out. Since the day a shooting star fell in the forest, arrows have been showering our town. Well, I guess so. So I guess we got a clue as to where the next star is, but we can't go into any forest right now. But, it won't be too long. I, I can't move! I see that. Feels bad, man. There's a stairway that leads to my house, but my son's been playing with the controls again. Why are you giving your son access to those controls? Mario, only you can jump up there. Please, help me get back up to my house. Well, I'm just walking in place again. So I use that guy as a footstool to get up here. So I can steal his treasures. And kidnap his son. No, I'm just kidding. What's, da what's taking Daddy so long? Do you think he's still looking for the treasure? No, you locked him out. So we use that to bring down a staircase. And there's actually a hidden chest here on this bed. So there's another frog coin for us. So we'll come out. Thanks a million, Mario. Say, are my treasures okay? Uh, okay, I'm in it. Y you're kidding. Oh boy, hope he's not pissed off. What? They're gone? Mario, you're the only one who can reach them. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. Oh, well, since we didn't get hit by any arrows, I'll tell you a secret. Enter the forest. When you hit an area with four paths, go left, left, straight, right. In that order. Okay, that's interesting information. Might be able to remember that. You'll surely find something nice. Nice. So left, left, straight, right. Wait, oh god, I already forgot the last two commands. You know what, it's not... Yeah, left, left, straight, right. It's a good thing he tells you again. Alright. So here we have everybody frozen. There's a arrow plague coming out. This guy seems okay though. I'll tell you, it's scary out there. But someone's got to pump the water. Well, you keep pumping, old man. You're this town's hero, apparently. Uh, so we got the item shop. Before we do some shopping, there's another hidden chest right there. And you might be wondering how to get that. And to get that, you have to get up and go to this chimney here. And just go down like a regular pipe. And you get another flower. So this lady sells this qui equipment, so we'll talk to her first. Hello, Mario. It's, yeah, we know. We don't need to read every single dialogue in this game, do we now? So now we got thick shirt and thick pants. So those are obvious upgrades to what we have now. And we already have jump shoes. Fearless pen. Hmm. Well, we already have the other three, so we might as well take it. And we'll equip these this new equipment. Thick shirt, thick pants. I could sell the old ones, but oops, I forgot to talk to the regular item guy. Could sell the old ones, but I don't really feel like it. Mario, good to have a customer at last. What do you need? I need... Nothing from you. Maybe an able juice or two. But other than that, I'm good on items. I'm getting freebies left and right. Okay, so we've done pretty much all the important stuff we need to do. So we're going to continue the story when you walk into this inn here. You get this nice little ditty. Mario, help! I'm right here, bro. <laughs> hey Mario. Oh wait, was it the kid's voice I should be doing? Who cares? I'll be taking care of Princess Toadstool now. Boing boing. Super jump attack! Man, don't you remember the good old days when you were a little kid and you can play like this? Gwaha, you think you can hurt me with your childish pranks? Attention Toadstool, you're coming with me! Zip ya lip! Help, help. Yeah, that's a pretty good impression of Princess Toadstool there. Oh my gosh. It's... Mom! Mom, look, we have a guest. Yes, dear, I hear you. Hello. Why aren't you, Mario? Yeah, I am. For real? Well, you have the hat and the funky stash. Are you really Mario? Yeah, I wonder if you say wrong number. I've never tried that. Aw, oh, you're a fake. Well, you'll have to do. <laughs> okay. Let's play my Geno game. Geno game. Now, Gaz, Mario might be a little tired, dear. Aw, oh, come on, Mom. You never play with me. It's no fun playing alone. 
you'll learn the difference in a couple years, buddy. Oh dear. Mario, I hate to ask, but could you play with Gaz for a little while? <sighs> well, since I can't go anywhere, I might as well. Yes! Mario just bought the farm. Wait, doesn't that mean you die or something? Oh yeah, because this little toy. I can't believe I just realized that. So, um, you can be Bowser. I'll be Gino, okay? Ready? Let's play from where I left off. All set? So you get to role play as Bowser. Ooh, scary, but just watch me. Better watch out, Bowser, because Gino's gonna blow you away. Take this! Ah, oh, man. This kid likes to play rough. Your turn, Bowser. We'll return the favor. Man, isn't that child abuse or something? Go easy on him, Mario. Ow! Oh no, if he keeps this up, I'm finished. Alright, you asked for it. The super duper custom patented one and only shooting star shot whoa holy crap yeah I think so Mario are you alright man holy crap I took out Mario I've been fighting monsters this entire game and never got knocked out that little kid and his toy could do that so now it's night time what the hell looks like a little star coming down What's it want to do with the dolls, though? Oh, boy. It, it's nice to see little scenes like this, though. Just some good little cutscenes to progress the story. <laughs> you probably think, like, Mario's dead or something. The house is empty. Of course, everyone's just sleeping. And now, we got a doll coming to life! Isn't that amazing? And there we have Gino, one of the most popular characters of this game. Probably one of my favorites. And new life has been born. Well, not new life, just taking over a body. So Gino's apparently like some kind of Star Warrior guy who just takes over that doll's body. Oh, man! Oh, did you see how quick he ran into that? Something went wrong in his brain there. But I think we got it now. He's got his composure. He's ready to go out and do whatever it is he wants to do. Mario's just sleeping like a baby. Ah, uh, Mario. So, we're gonna say real quick. 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 And we'll see what's going on. See if we can get a lawsuit going here. Mom, you'll never believe what I just saw. It was amazing, Mom. I just saw Gina walk in the forest. Neat, huh? <laughs> Give that kid some meds. Yes, dear. That's nice, dear. And isn't Gina the one who broke my lamp the other day? Aw, oh, Ma, that was just... Well, you know, now this was real. <laughs> I swear, Mom, really. It's true. I saw him outside. All right, guys, let's hear it. What are you trying to get out of this time, hmm? What kind of weed are you smoking this time? Man, Mom, I didn't do anything. I really, truly saw Gina walking in the forest. So now we got... Gaz trying to fight with his mom, so we're just going to slowly walk out of here. And, you know, like all things you do, or all things you do, like every time you get injured, you're going to get the hell out of here. You don't want to have anything else to do with that family, so you're going to run into this maze and just run as far as you can, like Forrest Gump. Alright, so let's get serious here. This is Forrest Maze. This is... Uh, where we're going to grab the second star of the game, and it's probably one of the most popular levels in this game, simply because of this music. Um, as far as the actual level goes, I think there's a yeah, there was a hidden chest there. Got a keto keto cola. You can actually you see these mushrooms here. Some of them you can actually grab and pick up, but others just turn to monsters. Like well, that one's real too. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try our hand here. There's a wriggler or wiggler. I think they're called wigglers, not wrigglers. Like gum. What an idiot. Oh, uh, vigor up. So they increase their defense. Oh, I actually missed something back at Rose Town. I'm gonna go back and do that real quick. It's a nice little cameo you get to see. And I know there's probably 99% of you that have already seen this, but you gotta get it in there for good measure. So we should be getting some good level. Ooh, man. That thing is angry. Summoning up a sandstorm in a forest? How does that work? Uh, I hope we get some good levels in here. Because it's taking a few hits to do these battles. 
Koopa, we got it. I wonder if my items are getting full. I wonder if I have any... Eh, no, I don't. I was gonna say, if I had any flower tabs or something like that. So we'll just head back to Rose Town real quick, because this shouldn't take long to do. Okay, uh, never mind on showing you guys that cameo, because I just remembered, uh, I think you have to do it, uh, after you do this area. So I did go back and get a flower tab, because you go back to the inn and sleep again in the bed, and Toad will actually appear next to you in your bed, really creepy-like, and give you a flower tab. But I don't think I need to show that, because I already wasted enough time trying to get that cameo that doesn't exist yet. So we're going to take all our anger out on this rat. And maybe on one of those mushrooms I walked over. Man, there's a lot of rats here. But good thing we got that once again. Once again. Are we going to need another? Yeah, three hits in a row. Yeah, they kind of chain like that sometimes. Am I going to get them all in the chain? Oh, you got to be kidding me. This is awesome. Every single one in a row. Oh, not that time. Oh, well. So we'll just beat this thing with a stick. And I'll show you how the mushrooms fight, too. Oh, there was an able juice. 30 coins from that fight. That's a nice sum right there. Sting me. Boom. Okay, so now we have bees, too. They're one of the enemies in this area. The uh, mushroom guys can actually turn you into a mushroom, if I remember correctly. Or maybe it's a different enemy, but I'm pretty sure they can. And when you're a mushroom, uh, all you can do really is defend, I think, and use items, maybe, if you're lucky. But I don't think anything other than that. So we'll hit the springboard. And uh, here's the second place where you can get a hidden box. It's somewhere around here. There it is. Okay. So you got this... Man, that arrow almost hit me. That was really close. They can actually hit you and kind of stun you for a couple seconds, but not paralyze you like the people in the town. So here's an opportunity to get some more boxes. We have a crap ton of wigglers and stumps around, so we're going to go in this one first, because I know there's a box in here. Well, I guess it wasn't in there. What the hell's with my memory today, guys? I need something to boost my memory here. Well, I know there might be one in here, and I said that about the last one, but this time I'm absolutely sure. Oh boy, enemies coming from everywhere. Oh boy, it's Donkey Kong. But he looks like he's in a little bit of trouble there. He makes a, the weirdest sound when he attacks you. He might do it here. It's kind of weird to time defense it too. Yeah, not really. <laughs> I always think of like, I don't know, I don't... It's just, it's like he's talking to you when he attacks you. It's really crazy. What's that? Oh! Forgot about that little flint he throws at you. But he's not hard. He just might do a little bit of damage to you. <sighs> Another one. What the hell? Uh, yeah, those things can do flame orb and or fireball or whatever it's called and firewall. That's pretty annoying. I always thought those two shells you were holding were eyes because of that attack. It looks like they're just big bulgy eyes and the bottom part is a mouth. Actually might be the case. I don't know. But to me it just looks like he's holding up two little shells. Koopa shells. Can I find this box, man? Alright. got those guys taken care of. I really don't want to get into another battle because I'm so low on time. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Alright, guys. We're going to keep going through here. Find a couple more boxes. Find out what the hell is going on with all these arrows and see where Gino went. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.